Gone Too Soon. A fun, carefree day at the beach turned tragic after a freak accident took the life of a 14-year-old girl Saturday afternoon. The horrific incident occurred at Oregon's South Jetty Beach as Aurora Shuffle and a friend posed for photos atop a log on the surf. Her pal had just jumped off when a wave hit the log, causing Shuffle to fall and hit her head and neck. The heavy waterlogged trunk then rolled over her legs, pinning her down. As her two friends frantically tried to lift the log, more water came in and rolled the massive piece of wood over her body. Bystanders eventually managed to free the young cheerleader, but it was too late. Sheffel was pronounced dead at a local hospital. A happy straight A student, the teen was loved by many in her Eugene, Oregon community. A GoFundMe account set up to pay for funeral expenses has already collected over $9,000, nearly double the original goal of $5,000. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Enjoying the sun, sand, and sea is usually pretty harmless. Except, of course, when it isn't. Vacationing woman killed in freak accident. Celebration turned to tragedy after a runaway beach umbrella snuffed a woman's life out from under her. Lottie Belk was at Virginia Beach on Wednesday to celebrate her upcoming birthday and anniversary. Winds up to 25 miles per hour had been reported that day. A particularly strong gust uprooted an anchored umbrella and sent it flying across the sand. The sharp end of the umbrella struck Belk, stabbing her right in the chest. The impact knocked her to the ground as bystanders rushed to help. Rescuers brought her to the hospital where she later died from her injuries. Belk was a mental health professional from Chesterfield, Virginia. She's survived by her husband and two kids. Sinkhole swallows vehicles on Australian beach campground. Dozens of holidaygoers got quite the scare over the weekend when the beach they were camping on suddenly collapsed into the ocean. A large sinkhole opened up near Queensland's Rainbow Beach, terrifying campers along Inskip Point on Saturday. Fishermen were the first to notice the shoreline quickly receding into the ocean around 10.30 p.m. Casey Hughes told ABC News it sounded like thunder as the sinkhole was opening. The sinkhole was 150 meters long, 50 meters wide, and 3 meters deep. The sinkhole swallowed up one car, a caravan, a camper trailer, and several tents. 140 people were evacuated from the campground. No injuries were reported. Most of the campers were able to move their vehicles out of harm's way before their campsites disappeared underwater. Four children injured in bizarre bounce house accident. A small water spout that touched shore on Monday in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, seemed harmless until this moment. Oh, bounce house! Oh, these kids on Now four children are recovering in the hospital, according to ABC and the Sun Sentinel. Like many water spouts, this one wasn't attached to a thunderstorm cloud. But it did turn into an F-Zero tornado once it touched the shore, so lifeguards attempted to clear the area. The wind uprooted the bounce house, which tumbled for several seconds and then lifted clean off the beach. Initial reports estimated the playhouse sailed at least 20 feet into the air. Before landing in a basketball court, four children were taken to the hospital, one for serious injuries. A six-year-old girl and an 11-year-old boy were among the children inside the bounce house, according to a family member. The ages of the other children were still unknown as of Monday afternoon. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Man suffocates to death in beach sand tunnel. A summer vacation isn't complete without a trip to the beach. Swimming, building sand castles, but for one Virginia man, digging in the sand turned deadly. 49-year-old David Frazier was vacationing in the outer banks of North Carolina with his family. He spent quite some time digging two giant six-foot deep holes in the sand. Frazier climbed into one of the holes attempting to connect them through an underground tunnel. But as the sand began to dry, it became loose, 
causing the tunnel to collapse, burying him alive. It took beachgoers nearly 15 minutes before they were finally able to dig him out. A nurse who was on the beach at the time tried to revive him, but sadly, Fraser died at the scene. 10 years ago, a similar incident occurred at a nearby beach. Park officials offer this warning to vacationers. Don't dig holes that are deeper than your knees.